Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Happy Toad Creations. Today is Friday. Woohoo! It's Friday, it's Friday. Oh my gosh, this was such a long week. Um yeah. <laughs> so I do have a few things to show you. No, they're not all bags. <sighs> I'm just saying. I mean, I would love for them to be, but I have decided to start something else. I do have one part of the bag to show you, but that's it. Um, so today is Friday. It is July 21st. So if today is your birthday, happy birthday to you. If today's your anniversary, happy anniversary to you both. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, stay safe and have fun. <laughs> um, okay. So admin stuff, if you're, if you're, um, watching this video for the first time. Hi, my name is Lisa. This is Happy to Hook Creations. I have been Happy to Hook Creations for about <sighs> 10 years now. It used to just be Happy to Hook. So if you look up Happy to Hook, you will still find me. But um, certain circumstances caused me to like add some more creations to that because it was just a big mess. Anyway, it's Happy to Hook Creations now. Um, <laughs> You can find my shop on Etsy under Happy to Hook Creations. I'm also, um, I can also be found on Facebook, on Pinterest, TikTok, and also Instagram. So definitely go over there and check it out. Hit the like button, the follow button. Um, it's been helping a lot when you go over to Etsy and favored some items in my shop and my shop as well. It helps with the algorithm. It helps to find shops like mine. So I really appreciate all of you who have participated in that. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness, what else? <laughs> I've got four children, five grandchildren. I no longer have any paw pets, but um, <laughs> they're both in heaven now. But I do have... I think 21 fish left. <sighs> 21. I have a 50 gallon tank and, and, and 21 in a 50 gallon tank might as well be like four. <laughs> I'm, cause I'm, I'm looking around. I'm like, why does it look so empty all the time? So I'll probably buy some more fish this weekend. Um, <laughs> I have been married for 35 years and I am in social work and I do that full time. And the reason I say that is because I have a lot of comments uh, from my subscribers, and some of you will even have have even sent me an email to ask me why or how is it possible that I get so much done? Well, a lot of times um, I have clients that go to appointments and I sit and wait for them. And I have bags in both of the vehicles that I use for work. One is when I'm traveling, the other one is just when I'm in town. But I just make, you know, I, I have to have something to do because I don't need to go in there with them. I take them to where they need to be. If they need my assistance, then I, of course, help. But the majority of the time, like the picture I took and I posted on Facebook, I'm just sitting at, at in my car drinking coffee or whatever, water, whatever, and I'm pulling something out of my bag and working on it until they come back. So, you know, that's it. And I, quite honestly, I crochet about every day. Um, it really helps me. So when you hear crochet therapy, yes, absolutely. It calms me down from, from when I've had like a stressful day at work, when whatever's going on. I used to be an emotional eater. Um, and, you know, I've, and, well, since 2019, I've, I've lost um, a little over 50 pounds now, I think. But if I don't have something to keep my hands busy, then I'm looking for a snack. And even though my snacking now is a lot healthier than it used to be, I love to crochet. Um, I love looking at yarn and trying to figure out what I'm going to make with it. I love it when I get orders that, you know, special orders, um, which is something I'll be talking to you about soon because I did get one. <sighs> it's kind of, <laughs> it isn't freaking me out a little bit, but it's something I've never made. So I can't wait to um, share that with you guys. And cause you might have some insight. You might have some like, Hey, I got a pattern for you. Try this one or try this tutorial. So anyway, um, so if you are joining me for the first time, thank you. And for all of you who have been with me from the beginning, I really thank you and appreciate you. 
Um, I love that you are supporting me. Uh, and yeah, I hope, <laughs> I hope that when you're done and you, you know, you're done watching my videos that, uh, I have at least helped with something. I, you know, you've learned something or if you ever have any questions, happy to hook at gmail.com, send me an email or you can put it in the comments below. I read all of them. I may not comment to all of them because a lot of times I'm on the road, but I love to read the comments. So thank you guys for that. All right, so let's get to these Friday makes. So I'm just gonna show you the bag, okay? I'm just gonna show it to you. <laughs> so last week I, I showed you guys um, this one. I, I think I showed you three of them. I'm gonna show you this one because I got my new tags and so I was like super excited. So this is a French market bag. It is a French market bag. And I got my new tags in, so I was so excited. Look at that, ta-da! I couldn't fit it in the middle, but I thought, you know what, the side's good, it'll, it'll work. It fit better on hats, but I wanted to put them on here too because um, I believe I bought 50. I got 50 of those, so. On Etsy, that's, you know, when I, I always just put in labels and whatever pops up that's on sale, I will get it. And those were definitely on sale. She was a, um, a fast response and fast shipping, so I was really happy with it. So that is a French market bag. And I got this yarn um, from, oh, this is the cotton. So I believe this one was from Teresa, but I started one. So, cause she sent me this really pretty cotton yarn. Look at that. So I thought, oh, those are gonna look so pretty together. This has got like the little speckles. You can see the blue right there, right there. So the handles and the sides are going to be blue. And then the body of the bag is going to be this, it's like a, what is it? Confetti maybe? Looks like confetti, let me see. Oh, it's called Fiesta. I like that even better. So that's the only bag I'm working on. So, <laughs> I, as I told you, I had to um, move on to something else because I've got, I, I counted them and I made 23. So I made 23 bags. Oh, well, that might be 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> now I'm on to the rings, the towel rings, towel ring holders. So I had ordered these first. I got these on Amazon. I honestly don't remember how much they were, but I can tell you that I ordered these from Timu. See how many? I think there were, wait, let's see, 20? There were 30 of them in here. And I spent five bucks on those. I did not spend five dollars on these. These were more than five bucks. So it sounded like she hit the wall or something. That was Abby. I don't know if you heard that. Um, I do so the circumference inside is the same. One's just thicker than the other one. Alright. So these are easier to maneuver when you're crocheting around them because this is so thick. So the only, the only difference between these two, because I like them both. I don't mind that this is a little bit thicker. I, I like that this is easier and, and um, you know, to work with, but this was more expensive, almost double what I paid for these. Now I'm probably just, I don't know. I didn't check Amazon to see if there was any that were um, less. I believe this one was 20. I got 20 of these and I got 30 of this one, like I said, and it was like $5.99 or something on Timu. So anyway, I had made a few of these. Let me grab the, let me grab it. I made a few. Like this. So oh, I'm I'm adding the towels. <laughs> I sell the towels with the holders. Um, so I'm crocheting on one end and then making a little, and then crocheting on the other end as well. And then I thought, well, is there a better way that I can do it? And that was the other one that I made. So I decided to just use one ring like this and put a button. So let me take it, take it out of there. Okay. So it's just a strip with a button right there. Okay and you fold it over onto your handle and then put the button on it just like that 
nice and short towel goes in there um and then i was you know so i was just playing around this is just leftovers from oh what was this i don't know i think it was the lion brand this was just a regular cotton this is a blue cotton one one of the first ones i made because i didn't like the hole that i that it made there i wanted to do that hole a little bit different so if you notice this one's square around the top and this one I did with, hold on, <laughs> with a couple of rows of decreases to make it curved. I like the curved better. So there's that one. And then this one just comes over here and goes underneath. Something just fell. So, I mean, it fits, it, and I put them around mine, um, Mine meaning my oven, my oven handle. They fit just fine without a problem. And this is one of the larger ones and then the smaller ones. And now I know I've got, is that all? Oh, okay. Well, so that's what I'm working on. <laughs> I thought I had more of them made up. Oh, there, I did have two more. Okay, so let me show you the ones I made with the towels. So I'm just using random buttons. I didn't go out and buy buttons. I have like a big container of them. Um, I don't know where that's at either. I can't find anything in here. Can't wait till my craft show start up. So there's another one that I made. And this one, it, again, is different. So this one's just a shorter, um, shorter body. And you just put it over it and button it up. And I really like this button. I thought this button matched nicely. I don't know, it's got like these cute little design on there and I thought it looked really good with that color. And this was just leftover cotton and I figured it would match really nice with that towel. So there's another one. And then this one is a wraparound one that I made. This was the leftover cotton yarn that I had from um, the cotton cake that I made the bag with. So that's what was left over. So this one is a little bit longer, goes under, put it put it under your handle right and then bring it up here and button it up and I thought that color looked nice with this towel and it says what's it say <laughs> wake up and smell coffee yes please <laughs> so there's that so I have four with towels I got two more that I got a place towels with I don't have any towels that have any any baby blue I'm just using the leftovers from um from just the leftover cotton that I've been making cotton things with like um mostly bags yes mostly bags but uh, but anyway here's my little my little cotton thing so I'm going to use up this to make as many as I can for my craft show so I'll make more of these. I probably won't make that many. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I probably, I've been saying that a lot, huh? How about this? I know that I have 10 more towels. So I just have to make eight more of these and I will be done with making towel holders, towel ring holders. If they sell really well, I'll probably just make sure that I keep like 10 on hand because I do have the eight shows left. The first one starting August 5th. This is the one that was rescheduled due to the weather that I was supposed to have in this month um, on the 15th. But anyway, um, yeah. So these aren't bad to make at all. There's those. Now I did get this from uh, Timu. And this is a cotton blend. That would make so many. And you don't. it doesn't require a lot of yarn. So maybe each one would be like a different color, right? I could try that because I was going to just make another market bag with that baby, but I might because I have so, I mean, I've, I've got so many of the circular rings, the wooden rings that I want to use up. I have the acrylic rings as well, but I, uh, I like giving those to Amanda because she makes an awesome back scrubber. She crochets on either end. She made one for her dad and he just loves it. So I'm like, make me a couple more of those and I'll put them in on my, my craft show next time. So she's going to do that for me. All right. So now, oh, pattern. I just whipped it up, guys. I don't, you know, I had the rings. Um, 
I, and like I said, every single one is a little different. So I'm just experimenting, trying to find the right one that is, you know, that I think it's not going to take me a long time to do and it's going to use up a lot of cotton. This is probably my least favorite. I don't like that it's so wide there. I like that it's, you know, that you do the decrease and then just have the button holder because it's a nice clean look. And you don't have the little flap. See how that the little flaps right there? That that drives me a little crazy. I might even pull that out and redo it. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not joking. Just to redo the button, close this in a little bit so that it would be rounded off, like you know, like that or something. So we'll see. Um, the other ones can stay where they're at. I'll probably I might redo it. I don't know. We'll see what how much time I've got. But they're I mean, they're super quick. I made all of these. With the exception of the first two that I showed you. I made those a while back. But the other ones, the other four, I just made in one sitting in, you know, maybe an hour. I don't know. It didn't take very long. So they're really quick. And if you have leftover cotton, those are good to use. Do you have to use cotton yarn? No, I'm just using it. I'm sure acrylic would be just fine. That's just something that me, I'm personally doing. So now, before I get to uh, the item that someone asked me about, someone else asked me about the pattern that I used for this. So what I did was I sent her a pattern that was close. I don't have time in the mornings. Okay, so uh, let me start over. It's not that I don't have time, but I was running late that day and I wanted to put my hair up because it's hot outside. When I get in and out of my car, I don't want my hair down. I don't want it on my neck. Look at how long it's getting, guys. That's crazy, right? So I wanted to put it up in a bun and so I got my little ponytail holder and I started making it so one two three four five six seven eight nine let's see two four six eight ten eleven twelve so I put twelve double crochet in this circle but they weren't all together I did a double crochet chain one okay so double crochet chain one in your beginning circle right then the next row in between in the, in the chain one, in the chain one, I did a double crochet chain one. And I did that all the way around. On the third row, I did two double crochets, chain one in each space around. And then it looks like in each space around that one, I did another row of double crochet chain one and then I did single crochets to close it up single just a single crochet I didn't have to do any like decrease stitches like two together I just did one single crochet around and it closed it up and then the set the last row I did it around the ponytail holder that's it really quick I mean it was really quick because I only had a few minutes this didn't take me any time at all and I needed it to be white because I was wearing denim and white that day but it was just really quick so just 12 double crochets chain one stitches and then the next one double crochet chain one stitch and then the next one two double crochets chain one stitch all the way around and then two rows of single um double crochet chain ones don't put two in there just one and then two rows of single crochets Make sure that second row of single cro crochets is around your ponytail holder. That's all. So if you want the one, the pattern that I sent to, I want to say Diana, but I don't think that's right. Um, I really need to start writing this stuff down. Anyway, I hope that the pattern I sent you helped. If it did not, just let me know. We'll go over that again. And I'll, you know, I, I, I just don't want to do a tutorial because <laughs> I'm not really good at instruction, I don't think. But anyway, um, I hope you guys got that. It's just really, was really quick. This was a number four weight. Actually, this was um, the Big Twist. This was the white Big Twist yarn. And see, it's just so cute. I really need to make a bunch of these. So... And Abby has braids in her hair now, and I told her that I would make her uh, like a snood, but one for longer hair. So just make it really long and then gather it up with one of my, I don't have one to show you. But in, so it's a, a, a headband. 
it's almost like a ponyo, but it, it's the size of a headband. And it's the same width and everything. So you just crochet around it and she could just put it on her hair and it would look so stinking cute. She didn't say whether she didn't want me to make one. So I'm going to make her one and we'll see what happens. All right. So <laughs> my last, I've got stuff kind of coming out all over the place. Um, I am attempting to make a man's button up shirt. Someone asked me about it. I told them flat out, I have never made a men's shirt. They showed me a picture of an actor wearing a shirt. It's just a button up. It's so great to see men wearing crocheted shirts. Oh, I love that so, so much. Um, now I started this, but I'm going to tell you, it's, it's KC Essential Yarn. It's the, the knit and crochet. It's, uh, let's see. 100% cotton. I got, I chose cream and Sequoia, but these are the only ones I have. So I'm not even sure if this is even enough for one panel, but if I like it, I'll go back and make it. So this shirt looked like it was started as a hexagon. They started it with the main color, which would be this ivory. Okay. And that you see how it's so, it's really drapey. Um, I also used, and thank goodness for this, Lauren sent me all that wonderful yarn. So I put the new boo yarn and the true blue, true boo yarn. It's laid out right now in my living room because I'm matching colors. I'm looking to see how much of what I have. So I, she sent me nine skeins of that white. So I'm going to use the white as the main color and then the gray as the secondary color because it's striped the way they have it. Um, oh, I, I wish I could show you what he's wanting me to do. I do not know how to enter a picture in, but I'll have, if Abby um, has to, she's got to work today. But um, when she gets home, if I haven't uploaded this yet, I'll have her like insert the picture of it. If you're on Facebook, I'll put it there uh, because I definitely needed some suggestions to as to like what pattern, if anyone's ever made a man's shirt, if you did, did you just, you know, improvise and make it your own, or did you actually use a pattern? I would like, you know, everyone can make a hexagon. So, um, you know, I might just whip something up and then try to figure out how I want the collar to look, but it's a cute shirt. I mean, can you say cute if a guy's wearing it? Um, yeah, you can. It's a really cute shirt. I really like it. And most of the, the, the guys in the show, the photos that he sent me, the color was like, um, like a bright green like this and white it was really cool looking. So, and like I said, he showed me several different crocheted shirts that were worn by different people and they were all, they were all actors. One I think was a basketball player, but they were like celebrities. And, and I thought, man, it's so cool to see a celebrity wearing crochet. I mean, girls, you see it all the time, but men, Hardly ever. So it's making a comeback and we need to take advantage of that while it's do while it's making a comeback. So I like that it's drapey. That's not the the issue at all. So I'm just gonna keep going and seeing if um you know these colors are gonna work. I'm hoping they have more of this. I'm sure they will, because it's that KC brand. It's 180 yards in each ball. This one though, I'm not gonna make like this one. I'm only gonna make maybe two more rows. Maybe three. I might make four rows of this color and then go back to the ivory and then do four rows. And then, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. I haven't really thought about it, but it looks, <laughs> we can stop it right there and make a little collar, a little neck for a baby. It's so cute. But anyway, that's what I'm working on, guys. I don't know how it's going to work out. Like I said, I've never made a man's shirt before, but I can't, I, I'm, I'm telling myself not to overthink it. I just, you know, I just looked like, I looked at the picture and I said, that looks like it could be a hexagon. So I'm going to make a hexagon. I'm going to stripe it in the same pattern that this shirt is in. I'm going to show it to him when it's done and we'll see. I've got plenty of buttons because he does want it to be a button up. I figured the edging would definitely be a single crochet all the way around, maybe four or five rows, make some buttonholes and a collar and call it a day. Sounds simple enough, right? We shall see. So in the comments below, if you've made a man's shirt, let me know what you thought about it. Let me know what yarn you used because he wants it drapey. It's, in, it's going to California. 
um, if I can make it and we can agree upon the color and, you know, the style that he wants. So let me know what you think. And definitely send me links. If you, if you got to send me a link in my email, it's happy to hook again. Happy to, not happy to hook again. But again, the email is happy to hook at gmail.com. <laughs> that was just goofy. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Have a great weekend. This is what I'll be working on this weekend, trying to get that done. And um, I'll be getting some more uh, towel rings made as well. Maybe I'll do that the first hour or two of the morning. And then I'll start on the shirt. Because I've already, I've already looked on YouTube and I have found some. I've probably saved seven tutorials in my queue. So, but I love hearing what you guys think. So if you guys have made one, let me know. If you've heard of somebody who's got a pattern, let me know. I'm, I'm willing to buy a pattern if it's something that I can um, make more than one time. And we'll see what happens. I mean, I've got a son, husband. You know, I've got plenty of my grandsons. I got plenty of boys that I can <laughs> that I can um, guinea pig as my models. So, um, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna get off here now so that I can find something to eat. Ooh, I made homemade salsa verde. Oh my gosh, it's so spicy and delicious. Jack can't have any of it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get off. I promise. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Oh, that's Abby. She just like bursts in the door. She goes, oops. Hey, you want to come here and show everybody the hat you're wearing? Come on, Abby. Come on. Come on. So the ruffle hat that I made Abigail, I put a picture up on Facebook. No, put it on your head and then just, just peek your head down. They're not going to, just come on. Just peek your little head through here. Uh, she's so silly. There's Abby. Oh, no. wearing her hat. oh my gosh. She's so funny. All right. Sorry. Go, go. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I will see you when I see you. Happy hooking, everyone. Bye-bye.